morning everyone and happy t-shirt Tuesday. My name is Katie. I'm a fifth year teacher teaching third grade this year in the state of Florida and I'm so glad you're here for this week's vlog. All right we're attempting it again. We're gonna try another week in my life. See if we make it a little longer this time. This week is a short week because we're starting on Tuesday. We had Labor Day yesterday. So maybe the fact that it's a short week will make it easier to vlog throughout the week. We'll see. Um, <laughs> but I just wanted to jump on this morning. I got my classroom all set up. I'm here really early because I'm gonna look over plans, get some papers together for some students who are sick so I can set those out and they can be picked up. Um, and that's about it. So I'm kind of working on some stuff here and there. Um, things that we're doing today, we're starting a new chapter in math, which reminds me I need to go change my um, essential question. So I'm gonna go do that after this. We're going back to doing adding and subtracting. We've been doing data, so I'm excited. It should be pretty basic today because it's just basic addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction, like problems, if that makes sense, and looking at patterns on an addition chart, things like that. So it should be pretty easy for them to start. Um, and then we'll do our AR time. We have guidance for specials today, and then we'll come back for reading. I'm finally starting to get a flow going in reading. So on Friday, we, which feels like forever ago, we did our first read of our weekly story. This week we're working on folk tales. So it was a Nigerian folk tale about why the sky is far away. And today in our text, something that I do like about the My View curriculum that we're starting this year is it has the same story all week. So we did our first read on Friday. So today we're gonna do our close read for the first time and the directions will be to underline. So we're gonna look for a specific element in the text and we'll underline that specific element and talk together. So we'll probably do that together as a class for a while. And then if it's going well, I'll let them like finish up reading and underlining the prompts with a partner. And then after that, we're working on building up our independence for our um, rotations because eventually I wanna start small groups. Probably, I would imagine, by unit one week four at the latest is when I wanna start it. And we're on unit one week two right now because um, I'm really working on building up that independence for them. So this is what, and I said I was gonna share this in my last vlog, so I'm sharing it first thing this morning. This is what we are um, doing for our rotations checklist. So I got this from my friend Autumn. This is what our checklist looks like. It has different centers that they can choose from at the top and then choice ones once they finish the required ones. Then we have a reading response choice board with three different prompts. And then on the back of the paper, is where they write their prompts. So the first two centers that we worked on were spelling and vocabulary. So their spelling box is working on their spelling words. And I have this um, from TPT, and so I'll link it for you. Put all their spelling words on the front, and then the inside has just pages they can use to practice. Write the words. Um, another one was write the words in alphabetical order. Work on the words forwards and backwards. And then this one's kind of fun. It's like add the words up, so they add five cents for the vowels, 10 cents for the consonants. But this was a really cool pack that I just inserted the words and it auto-generated all these pages. So once they finish this whole bundle, they cross off spelling work. And then for vocabulary, again, from Teachers Pay Teachers, I'll link it. I type in all the vocabulary words and it auto-generates the pages. They've got this little book. We wrote the definitions on this page together on whatever day we did that, Friday? No, Thursday when we introduced the unit. Um, then there's a space for them to write the words three times, a space for them to illustrate the words, synonyms and antonyms, use the word in a sentence, and then create a quiz question with the words on the back. Um, and this is super important because the progress checkup quizzes that we're using or tests that we're using for the units do have a lot of questions on the vocabulary, so this gives them a lot of re repetition with the vocabulary words from our story. So once they finish spelling work, they cross off spelling work once all those pages are done. Once they finish vocabulary, they cross that off. They have the freedom though that they don't have to sit and work on vocabulary for an entire day. So they could do a couple vocabulary pages and then choose something else, but they can't cross it off until they're finished. 
Then I have two stories and those are on our online database. And so they go on and they pick one of those stories to listen to and then they do a reading response question to it. So here are like the choices they have for reading response. They can retell, they can write connections or they can write the story structure and they just answer that on the back. So that's what we're working on today. We started it on Friday. The independence didn't go that great. There were lots of questions, lots of talking. So I'm gonna try to really set the stage again today. It's Tuesday, we got a fresh week and see if they can do that work independently. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there because I just shared a lot. Um, I'm gonna continue to get my classroom ready and get that work ready for that student, go change the essential question. I'll probably pick up the camera later this afternoon. I have a meeting at the end of the day for all new teachers at this school. Um, I think we have one monthly and this is our first one, so that's exciting. And then I'm gonna try to get out of here pretty on time because I have a FaceTime date with a friend tonight. So um, I'll try to pick up the camera in the afternoon and just show you a little bit of my afternoon if I can, but that's like the gist of the morning. my car this afternoon. It's a little noisy because of the air conditioning, but it's okay. We'll live with it. Um, today was a good day. We got through everything we needed to accomplish. I was impressed because my students were a little bit more independent with that work that I showed you this morning on their rotations checklist. Friday, there were questions all over the place and we were like this and this and how do I do this? And today I was like, okay, you've got 25 minutes, independent work, choose which one you'd like to work on and get started, work on that for a little bit. And then if you need to switch halfway through, you can switch, it's your choice, your work. Gave them a little independence there and it worked, they did better. And I was able to do makeup tests while they were working independently. So the goal is to get small groups up and running in like probably the next two weeks while they're doing that independent work time. So I was excited that that worked well. Um, the only thing that I've like, the hiccup I've run into is on our Realize platform. I've been titling the stories that I showed you this morning, Realize Story 1 and Realize Story 2, because Realize is the online platform. And I, re I, I realized, huh, realized last um, that last week's stories still pop up if they don't click on the turn in button. So that's something we need to remember to do like on Fridays when we, or not Fridays, but on whatever testing day is. Like when we take our test, we go in and click turn in on all of our old stories. So the new ones pop up. So then I was like, maybe I should just type the names of the text that I'm using. Um, and I've been using like the decodables. So Realize Story 1 and Story 2 are both decodable texts that use whatever skill we're working on for our spelling words that week. And I was like, maybe I should just title it the title of the story so that doesn't get confusing. But the reason I'm using Realize Story 1 and Story 2 is because I can differentiate what I assign students. So I was like, okay, I don't wanna do that because like some students who need more practice, probably with those decodable texts, especially when we get further along, um, some of them will be able to do more difficult texts for Realize Story 1 and Realize Story 2. And some of them will need to stay with these decodables. And so by calling it story one and story two, I can make everybody's story one and story two different, if that makes sense. Um, so we'll just have to practice clicking the turn in button. We learned that on Friday. And so we'll just reinforce that this week and whatever day we do testing, which should be Friday this week, we'll make sure we click on the turn in button. So those old stories disappear. That way the next week, the stories that show up are um, the most recent unit, if that makes sense. Um, maybe I could put something like unit one, week one, unit one week two in there um, to help it out. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So I just got home, sitting in the air conditioning. I stayed after school for my meeting. Oh no, I'm yawning. Oh. For my meeting and then I filmed a couple reels and then I went home. I cleaned up my room and I went home. And now I'm waiting for David to come home. We're gonna cook dinner together tonight and then it's back to school tomorrow to do it all weekend. But today was Tuesday, so Tuesday is down. Tomorrow's Wednesday which is pretty exciting for a short week. Okay, I had every intention of picking up the phone and vlogging today and did not. So hope you enjoyed those few aesthetic shots of my morning. 
the day was busy, fast and furious. Wednesdays we have grade level meetings. And so we went through our math unit this morning and then we had our grade level meeting and then I went through reading. We did our final close read of our text today and we used highlighters to highlight for text evidence to ask and answer questions. So we definitely went over highlighter procedures again because it was a little rough last week. We talked about how the highlighter needs to stay on the page, the lid needs to be on the back of the marker, yada, yada, all of those wonderful things. Um, that you would think third graders would know, but they don't, you know, it's okay. So we went over all those things and then they did really well um, finding and highlighting the pieces in the passages, the ones who were following along, of course. Um, and then we did independent time. Didn't go as great as yesterday's independent time did, but I'm hoping tomorrow, a lot of them are very close. So I'm hoping tomorrow they'll realize that they get to enjoy some of those choice centers when they're working hard on all of their required work from that checklist. And then I have our vocabulary books and spelling books already printed out for next unit, which will start on, I think we'll start on Tuesday, will be the next unit. Um, so I'm glad I got those. I can actually put them in the Tuesday drawer while I'm chatting, because if I put them there, I won't forget. Um, but I went ahead and got those printed and prepped and some parents helped me staple, so that was wonderful stick that in the Tuesday drawer. So it feels good to have that done and out of the way. So I'm going to head home because it is really late. I had a, I met with some teammates after school because on Friday we have our first house meeting and I wanted to make sure we had a good plan, solid plan for that. So I'm still here pretty late. Um, I'm also starting to get them, some things together for a theme day we're having in a couple of weeks. So I was starting like an Amazon list and a sign up genius that I can send home to parents for that. So I have been a busy, busy bee. And now it is time to head home. I can't believe tomorrow's already Thursday. So I've got to do like Friday folders and behavior charts and AR updates and all of those things tomorrow. Feels like I just did them yesterday for last week. So tomorrow's going to be a doozy. It's going to be busy, but we're going to head home tonight and just enjoy resting. This wipe container is open. We have mud out on the playground. So they come in and like during dismissal, they are all wanting to like wipe their shoes. And I have a lot of wipes, so I don't mind as long as they use one wipe. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna head home. <laughs> Today is Thursday. I can't believe we've already made it to Thursday. Let me grab my keyboard so I can log into my board while we chat. Um, I spent last night working on just a few things for next week. And one of the things that I was working on was getting my Friday email that I send to parents every week ready to go. And so then it really made me feel like today was supposed to be Friday. And then I realized it's not Friday. I was just getting ahead, which I'm glad I got ahead because I have other things that I need to do today. But it's kind of disappointing to find out that today wasn't Friday. So we're almost there. Um, we have a pretty normal, updates may be available. Yes, please update. Um, we have a pretty normal morning this morning. We're working on just regular math stuff, all the same. I get my planning time today, so I'm gonna get my reading stuff together. It's our last day of unit one, week two. We take our assessment tomorrow. So I'm gonna have them like read the passage that we've been working on one more time. And then there's like a selection quiz, just questions about the passage that we're going to have students do. And so that should be pretty easy peasy. I just need to copy it this morning. There goes the lawnmower. Um, so that was one of the things I needed to do. And then my other big task that I'm trying to accomplish today, forgive me, I know it's loud. Um, the other big task I'm trying to accomplish is I need to organize my file cabinet because I have all my files from first grade land. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad they're mine. Um, I had all my files from first grade land labeled by Wonders Unit, so it's like unit one, week two, unit one, week three, etc. And then I have all my like theme day stuff labeled, but as I've been adding to my things this year, I don't have anything labeled like ready to file. And I'm like, okay, I need to start keeping, this is a new curriculum for our district, so it's not going anywhere. So I need to start keeping things in files by unit instead of just piling them up in my drawer. So that's one of my big tasks that I have for today. Um, We'll see how that goes. I might start it this morning. If not, it may just be an afternoon thing. Um, 
that's about all I've got. I'm gonna cut this off, continue getting my morning stuff together because it's noisy. <laughs> I also thought I'd show you my outfit of the day. I'm wearing my old navy t-shirt dress, my favorite one in black. And then I just put on sneakers today mostly because my toenails were not painted. And so I didn't want to wear sandals, but also it, it, it goes with the dress, sneakers and dress. That's like a, that's a thing. Um, I'm hoping this will help me stay cool because it has been toasty outside the last couple weeks. And I have a feeling I will be here for a while today working on those files and working on Friday folders. So we went for comfy and yet cute at the same time. <laughs> y'all right, I am walking in to mi casa into the living room check it out we got a new couch from a friend doesn't really match the whole vibe of the living room but there's your preview it's nice to have two couches so I'm about to come collapse on one of them um it was a good Thursday we had a good day we got everything done that we needed to students partner read their stories and then did their little story quiz on it I um finished all my files I showed you like a little pan of those kind of thumbed through them. They turned out really good because I did labels on them and I had a student's parent help with the labels because labels drive me nuts. Um, and so she made all the labels and then I just attached them to the file folders this afternoon and sorted everything. So there's no longer a giant stack of crap in my file cabinet. I'm taking my shoes off. Um, what else did I do today? We finished our science experiment. So we finished measuring mass and volume. I showed you some of those supplies in a little shot. Uh, the students loved it, they had fun, and it was great because we were learning about rounding today in math, and then they kind of had to round and estimate when we used the graduated cylinder in science. So it was a great tie-in, and they did really good with the equations to find the displacement for the volume, so that was awesome. Tomorrow should be a breeze. It's an assessment day, we have house meetings. Um, I say it's gonna be a breeze, it might not be, but planning-wise, it's a breeze. So I am home. David is about to walk in the house. There he is. Hi. Hi. Yay! Um, and so we're just gonna, I might go buy some things to wear for our first house meeting tomorrow. I haven't decided. I'm also gonna start looking at some writing plans for Monday, but I'm just gonna kind of chill and take it easy. Tomorrow's Friday, let's go. This is end of the week, end of the day, Katie, sitting on the ground in my house tea, which I showed you earlier in the mirror that I made yesterday with my Cricut. Um, love it. With my little scrunchie that I got from Claire's for $2. So we were repping the house colors today. My house colors are red and that is difficult because I am an Auburn fan and as a good Auburn fan, I don't own any red because Alabama and Georgia. So for obvious reasons, if you didn't know. Um, <laughs> so I've been struggling to come up with some things. I still need to get a house shirt with like our house crest on it, but they had to make another order. So I have this one and then I have like a comfort color red one that I did on the pocket. I think I shared that maybe in, a, I don't know if it was in the last vlog or not. Anyways, um, so I have that one. So I made this last night. Our house name is Valor, which is courage in Spanish. We had our first house meeting today, which was super fun. We met with all of the second and third graders in our house all in one room. So we had like three teachers. Co-teaching is so fun. I mean, I mean, it was like a fun day anyways. Like we all planned activities. We introduced our house. I read the book Jabari Jumps because we're all about courage. We talked about how he had to have courage. And then they got to do a word search from that book and then design their own castle because our house symbol is a castle, a fortified castle. And then we learned a house sign, all the fun things. Um, 
So that was really fun. And it's really fun to be with other teachers and get to like see inside other teachers' classrooms and kind of watch them teach, even if it was just like for something fun. So this was our first one of the year. I think we have one, maybe one more this nine weeks and then we have two in the next nine weeks. So I think we'll have like four this semester if, I if I'm remembering that correctly. I gotta look at the calendar. Um, so that made today exciting and a little off schedule because it take, took up like our math block. And then the rest of the, I mean, today was just an assessment day. We did like our weekly quiz in math and then we had to go to the house meeting and then straight from house meeting to specials. And then they came back and we did our um, library visit and then we had snack. We finished our read aloud. We read the chocolate touch and they loved it. Um, the first one we read was third grade angels, which was recommended by, I believe somebody either from Instagram or YouTube. Um, and they sent it to me for my classroom wish list, and my students loved Third Grade Angels. Then we read The Chocolate Touches, our read aloud. So we finished that this week, um, and then we did our spelling test, we did a brain break, and then we went over our reading test. I'm so proud of them because their grades from their reading test have improved greatly from last week, which is impressive, because last week we kind of cushioned the grades a little bit because it was our first test, um, and then this week it was just like, boom, it's out of what is out of. And they still did really, really well. So that was exciting. And when they were finished, they had to finish up their rotations work that I showed you from that checklist. And then when they were totally done, they could do AR. So a lot of them were hype about that. And then, I mean, it was like, we did a, an ex, I want to say exhibition, but I don't know if that's the right word. Like we had a local firefighter who has like a piece of the steel beam from the, um, the twin towers at 9-11. And he like brings it on a trailer and did like a little display out by the school and did like a question answer thing and a little presentation about 9-11, which was really neat for the students to see right before lunch. Then we went to lunch and then we did our extra recess Friday and then it was like time to go home. So today when I say, I say fast and furious a lot. Fast and furious, like a fast and furious day. That's like my favorite way to describe a school day. And today was truly fast and furious. So then after school, I did not pick up the camera because I graded and I graded so many papers. Like seriously, I graded their spelling tests, I graded their reading tests, and then I started grading all of their reading rotations work. And I'm trying to give feedback on it. Um, that way they can read it and like we can get better at our rotations responsibilities. And there was something else that I graded too. Like I inserted math quizzes. I had to count in journals for writing next week. Like I did so many things. I did our Friday email. I did our vocabulary slides for last week. And I was just like, boom, boom, check, boom, check, boom, check. I had like my to-do list that I write every day. One side said um, to do and one side said to grade because it was just one of those days. So I'm noticing that's definitely something that's different from first grade to third grade. Lots more papers to grade in third grade than there were in first grade. Granted, my first school that I was at in first grade, we did standards-based report cards. So it wasn't like you got an A, B, C, D, whatever. Um, it was like, here's the standard, rank them on a scale of one to three. How are they achieving on that standard? And then I just collected evidence. So that was different anyways, but like lots more papers to grade in third grade, which I don't mind grading papers. I brought some home to grade this weekend. In fact, it can just be time consuming and I like to stay on top of it and not let it snowball. So that took me like forever to do this afternoon. But I just got home. I'm pumped because I told David on the phone on the way home. I said, I either want Chick-fil-A or I want Moe's. That's what I want for dinner because we've been cooking all week, making lunches all week. I'm like, it's time. I want one of those for dinner. You choose. I think you picked Chick-fil-A. So that's where we're going to go. Um, I was taking out my computer. I'm going to work on getting this vlog edited and I just wanted to do a wrap up at the end. Um, sorry, it's in my bedroom. <laughs> Welcome to me, Gasa. One of those weeks. I just had to get home. I mean, I didn't leave school till 515. So it was time. I did not have time to like pull out my camera and vlog or do anything like that. But I am gonna work on editing this to get it up for y'all. This attempt was better. I got more footage for you guys this week. Um, I still would love to know what you guys like to see. Thank you for your feedback on the last vlog. We're still working on incorporating this in there and showing you kind of what I'm doing in third grade as I navigate third grade because I just don't know what I'm doing sometimes too. Or I'm, well, I'm figuring it out as I go, you know? And now I'm just rambling because I'm just rambling. <laughs> as always thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up because that helps support my channel i love interacting with you guys in the comments so leave me a comment below if you have any questions comments concerns whatever um, make sure you subscribe to this video so you don't miss anything coming out on my channel and as always i will see you in the next one